yo what's happening to my youtube fam today we're going to be customizing and reviewing the maxwell vagrant so as we pull into Alice customs you'll see the maxwell vagrant is obviously in the off-road category and to start the build obviously we're going to start with 100 percent body armor we're going to get the race brakes and for the engine we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade exhausts so we get loads of options for the exhaust the, re the first real part of the customization is now about to start um looking at it now it doesn't really look like we're going to be able to do much to it but fingers crossed let's, let's hope that we can actually make it you know customize it and then try and make it a little bit unique you know so they look a little bit different to other players in the game um but yeah we've got the dual pipes we've got the dual back box the quad exit the ripped Ooh, that looks quite nice uh we've got and then we've got it all in stealth same sort of options again but in stealth so really we get uh five no four options so we get four options um in black and then the same four options in chrome so that's pretty lazy it is what it is it's nothing special though is it really i'll just go with the stealth dual pipes i suppose then we've got fenders so we can change the fender color go with the carbon fenders we've got a hood oh wow again same as the fenders it's so minimal it's pretty much pointless you're just wasting your money at this point we'll get the carbon again why the hell not matches the fenders uh lights headlights xeon headlights so i wasn't really expecting so much i don't know why i'm getting so angry to be honest because i wasn't expecting that much in the way of customization because it is just a buggy but for the price tag 2.2 million dollars you expect to do something special you know what i mean rather than just changing the color it's crazy what rockstar think that they can get away with well actually they can get away with it because i'm sure that some sap's gone and bought a fucking shark card to buy, buy this vehicle and um all you can do is change the color of, of things that's it no actual customization really at all um, we've got liveries that might be oh good so the livery is just on the that little piece at the front <laughs> wow <laughs> oh my god it doesn't even go over the rest of the car. It's just literally that piece that changes. Then we've got mirrors. Is this actually going to change, do you reckon? Oh, of course it's not going to change. It's just going to be a color change. There we go. We'll go get the carbon ones. Let's match it up. Why the hell not? That cost me $1,700. Money well spent. Then we've got respray. Ooh, something we might actually be able to change. I think it actually looks quite good in orange, to be fair. Um, we are going to go classic, though. We are maybe going to... Oh, hang on. What the hell? Well, so that's that part. I'm guessing the secondary will be the rest of the the cage then. Which it is. Oh, thank God for that. Um, I actually thought orange looked quite good on this. But I haven't had a yellow car for a long time. And because I've got carbon all over it, let's make it look like a bumblebee. And yellow's quite orangey so i'm gonna go race yellow that's proper yellow that is proper yellow we'll go go primary color and classic and get proper yellow again <laughs> proper yellow there we go um primary second we've got a trim color oh shit is that even that's not even oh there we go we've got the springs that are changing oh actually we'll be able to change them up then we can make them red that would look pretty cool there we go uh, we'll get Torino red. It's a little bit lighter. That's quite nice that we can change the spring colours. At least there's something. Another, uh, you know, <laughs> at least there's something else that we can change the colour of. Um, every little helps, I suppose. Then we've got a roof. Is actually going to give us a roof? Of course, it's not going to give us a roof. We do get a spare tyre though. I'm going to get a spare tyre just because it makes it look less stock, I suppose. So yeah, we're going to get the spare tyre. We'll get the roof mounted lights. Oh, so we do get something else which changes the look of it, which is cool. Uh, we get, we'll go get the projector light bar. Why the hell not? Then we've got transmission. We're we'll gonna get a race transmission. Um, we've got a trunk. Oh, so okay. I wish they would have told me that before I changed the color of it. But you can change it to carbon or a secondary color. Um, personally, I think it looks better carbon, so I'm gonna get the carbon trunk. We are going to get the turbo tuning and for the wheels, the wheels on this are pretty weak. I'm not a fan of those at all, um, but I've got a horrible feeling that even the aftermarket wheels are going to look pretty bad. I'm going to start with the off-road because why not? Oh, actually, they don't look too bad. The tyre print stays the same, which is cool. 
usually you get a really horrible tire print um, for the off-roaders they're really bobbly but I think this is a first where it's literally just changed the rim and not the tire so that's pretty cool so if that's the case I wonder if that will be the same for maybe this the high end let's try high end no that changes the tires uh, what about low rider nope tires change on that as well so it looks like just on yeah so it's just on the off-road um, it just changes the rims which I like I like that it's a good it's a nice touch that Rockstar have, has have done for this vehicle in particular that it's not changing it to them horrible bobbly tires and I thought I'm gonna go with these Raider rims and we're gonna change them to carbon black and because this bitch doesn't have any windows we can't change the window tint so that is it my dudes as you pull out you'll see um, Bumblebee in all its ugliness very ugly vehicle but it is an off-roader it is a buggy and it is very fast turn and circle of a fucking bus though yeah the turn and circle is really bad on that but it's fast man real quick sounds lush acceleration is rapid and it feels really really quick I think this would even rival a couple of sports cars you know what the hell happened there yeah I definitely think this would even rival a few sports cars the handling actually feels okay I mean it can take corners and it sticks to the ground like nobody's business you know the way it drives spot on can't fault it whatsoever probably one of the best cars of um, driven for a long time in this game it just feels solid in every aspect the acceleration the, the speed the handling just feels like you can take it anywhere and it will perform wherever you take it um, but yeah the, the downside is the price 2.2 million is ridiculous the way it looks is obviously it's a buggy so it looks okay for a buggy but they could have done better in my opinion and the customization is l so lackluster it is unbelievable there's next to nothing to do in customization and I love customization and I, I feel really really butthurt when, <laughs> when I go and customize shit um, but yeah with that being said guys um, I think I'm going to end the video there I hope you guys did enjoy this one if you did please smash that like button if you haven't already why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys I'm out adios